Welcome to 30 Second Chances, where we ask deep, contemplative questions and provide far too little time to formulate thoughtful, reflective answers. My guest today is producer and composer Bobby Summerfield. Bobby, how are you? Daniel, lovely, mate. How are you doing? Thanks for inviting me down here. I think 30 seconds is about my attention span limit these days, so perfect show. <laughs> Absolutely. Squirrel. Yes, I understand. Hey, yep, but, but, <laughs> right. Got to go. Sorry, phone's on. All right. All right. Uh, you right. know the dance, 30 seconds on the clock, and then on to the next question. Here we go. Question number one, describe your job to me for a, uh, describe your job to a five-year-old for me. <laughs> well, I make noises and sounds and music that people like to use to promote their shows. Sort of like, you know, Porky Piggy and those sorts of shows, that music in the background, I do that sort of stuff. Binky, binky, binky. I was hoping you'd go for the wiggles, actually, but you know. <laughs> oh, well, the wiggles, yeah, I could do, uh, <laughs> I could date myself and go for the wombles, but either way. <laughs> even better, even better. Uh, next question. What's the one thing you wish someone had told you before you started your career? You can't make money at music. Is that true? In the future. Uh, no, not really. But either way, it was a good answer. Um, 30 seconds. Hey, what would, you know something? I'll tell you something. Yes. It's, it's the music business. I've taught people this, but I didn't know it when I started. It's the music business. 90% business, 10% music. Sadly, it's about that. And, and no, the worst part about it is that uh, so many people don't realize that and invert that equation. Oh, yeah, all the time. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And they think purple hair and Ray, Ray bands are enough. Next question. You've just run off and joined the circus. What's your act? Roller skating. With they an do elephant. that in the circus? Well, yeah, they do, but well, then you'd have to wear those big clown shoes at the same time. Well, I'd be good at that. I'm pretty good at doing clown. I've done it most of my life. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't heard any of the mixes I've done? They're hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Okay, I'm not going to touch that. <laughs> Next question. What's the strangest thing you believed as a small child? Santa Claus. Okay. It's not really strange. That's, well, it's strange considered by about six. I was like, uh, no, he doesn't exist. But either way, that was kind of strange. No, one of the strangest things I believed that uh, as a child, I was a jaded little shit, to be honest. Uh, <laughs> Uh, um, if I was naughty, the police would come. That's most probably it. But that's kind of simple. I think my parents are like, don't do that. Otherwise, the police are going to come. I'm like, okay, won't do that. Maybe. Damn. <laughs> Your parents were hardcore. Yeah, they were. <laughs> okay, next question. Steve Irwin has you in a headlock. What is he telling the audience about you and your native habitat? This little runt, if you let him go, he would ransack your kitchen empty your liquor store and most probably chat up your youngest daughter as long as they're above age 18 of course <laughs> I'm not and find your dope stash <laughs> ah okay at least there's some redeeming value there too <laughs> yeah exactly I mean, what can i say you know <laughs> All right, that concludes our regularly scheduled questions. I'm now going to put 30 okay. seconds more on the clock and allow you to either answer for me any question you wish I had asked, ask me a question, pontificate on life in general, shamelessly plug something, give us your favorite recipe, whatever you want, 30 seconds, it's all yours, go. Dear Daniel, if you didn't do what you're doing now and your career hadn't led you here, what would you like to be doing? I don't know. I've done pretty much everything. Wow. Well, Any, no, I have, I, I, no, that, that sounds far too jaded. Um, I'd probably like to just continue along the path I've been on, which is very, very confusing and circumlocutious. And uh, I have no idea where it's all going to lead, but I'm having the time of my life. Excellent. Excellent answer. 30 seconds on the dot too. I love it. I love it. Bobby Summerfield, thank you for being our guest. It's been a pleasure. My pleasure, Daniel. Lovely to see you. Thank you, mate.